Michael, thanks so much for joining NSN tonight. What has your time with the Wolfpack been like so far? I know you just arrived this summer. Yeah, it's been a good it's been a good time. I love the team, love the environment, love the place of Reno. I love it. So you uh, grew up in uh, Mississippi. You played your junior college ball in Mississippi. This is a far way away from yeah. Mississippi. So when Nevada came on your radar, far, far what, away. yeah, what were your, what was your thought process about potentially moving so far away from home? Uh, it was just like me. I, I'm never. I'm not the type who just like want to stay home. So like me, it was just about the relationship through the recruiting process. So it don't matter how long. So it was just like I miss. Uh, I like the coach Kwame and the whole recruit staff that recruited me, and I love the uh, energy they gave to me, and uh, that's what made me come here and commit. I can imagine it's long been a dream to play at the Division I level. Now that you're in the midst of the dog days of fall camp, what has it been like suiting up in silver and blue and just kind of the level of play? Yeah, fall camp, it's actually, it's actually been going well. The level of play different, but it's been going well. Uh, just things to pick up on plays and – physicality and and just different different guys from different worlds just competing you spent three years at east central uh, cc that's over there like we said in mississippi so how badly do you want to prove that you can play at this level you were uh, briefly committed to louisiana tech prior to last year things kind of didn't work out there so uh, like mike said i'm sure this yeah. has been a long-term goal how badly do you want to show people you know back home or wherever that you are cut out to play at the fbs level uh i want to show them back but the main thing is I want to prove to myself that I can do it. And I can prove to myself that that means I can prove it to the world. So really it starts with myself, about proving to myself. But I, I really I really want to really want to put Mississippi on the map this this way. You know, maybe Nevada can recruit more Mississippi mm -hmm. players. I like that. He can start so a little really, pipeline. That's really well my hair. Yeah, there you go. Start a yeah, little start pipeline a, start from a little Mississippi. Foundation out here. There you go. Uh, yeah. uh, tell us what you bring to the table, man. What kind of player are you there in the defensive backfield? Uh, just an aggressive corner, a techni technician, fast, physical, and just a playmaker, and just bring a lot of bring a lot of energy. You mentioned Coach Kwame earlier. Kwame Ajimani is the co-defensive coordinator. Coaches the safeties at Nevada. He said when you guys, uh, you know, met up and he signed you that you can play all five defensive back positions that they have. Sounds like you're kind of honed in at cornerback. But I guess why do you think you have that versatility, and how do you think that will help you get on the field here at Nevada this upcoming season? It, it help because my my physical ability like quick fast and uh, I just can see the game good, so that's why I felt like like he uh, said can play all five positions because I'm, I'm very like twitchy and rangy. You talk about being versatile and the ability to play all over the field, but on your bio it says that you did not play football in high school. Is that correct? And can you tell us the story of how you ended up on a football field? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Uh, Actually, I was, uh, well, my whole high school career, I didn't play football. So, like, I went and got a job, like, after I graduated. And uh, and I seen on my phone, it was, uh, like, an EC tryout for my JUCO. And then, like, a week after that, I went to the 707 with my friends and everything. And I was uh, killing them, doing a good job out there. And then I went to, um, then I went to the tryouts, and that's when I started my football career. We got to dive a little bit more into this backstory. Had you played football at like the Pop Warner level and just didn't play in high school? I guess yeah, what? Pop, made... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So when you it saw was, this, uh, pop, pop. There you go. So when you saw this tryout, I guess what triggered inside you? Like, you know, I haven't played football in a while, but I think I can go do it at the college level. It was really, it was really a job. Like I had to go get a job, and I was like, <laughs> man, I'm too young. Like I can't do this for the rest of my life. I got. I was working at arcades, and I was like, that's what motivated that job. And then I was like, I got too good ability to just sit there and not try it out. Wow, the plot thickens with Michael Coach Jr., who is suddenly in Reno, Nevada, yeah. playing Division One football, something I'm sure <laughs> you never would have imagined uh, when you first stepped foot at that tryout yeah. at East Central. Uh, what can you say about the yeah. squad, man? I know you're still getting familiar with everybody, and this is a team that last year left a lot to be desired. This is a team that feels very hungry this year. What can you say just kind of being a sponge, I guess, how you've soaked that all in? I, I love this squad. It's like... Everybody, family, everybody want to come in and help. Even the guys you competing with, they come in and even help you to potentially take their spot. So, like, that's why I, lo I love this squad. And they treat you like a brother. Don't nobody 
everyone come come in together. Ain't no one just by themselves alone. Like everyone, everyone really together, united on this team, and that's what I like about it. Obviously, it's not easy being a cornerback. That's one of the more mentally challenging positions out there. So I guess what uh, yeah. is the kind of the mindset you take to that position, and what kind of prepares you for the ups and downs that any cornerback is going to experience throughout a season? It just I just take it in as life. Life hits you hard. You got to come back and. You, gotta, you can't complain about it. Just go. Got to go to the next play or ne next step. That's our corner. You got to take it because when, when you can make one bad play, touchdown. You can make one good play. So really, just corner really help you for life. You can you can put that life skill in the corner, then you'll be out right on the field. You won't have to worry about getting down just because one thing happened to you. Just got to keep playing the whole the whole time. Life lessons in football, I like that. Tell us about the other side of the ball, Michael, having going against uh, some of these wideouts and watching the quarterbacks work. What can you give us uh, as far as a little sneak preview of what we're going to see on the offensive side this year? It's going to be real dynamic. It's going to be real dynamic. That's, that's all I can say. It's going to be real dynamic. We got some, we got some great receivers. We got, got some great quarterbacks. And I'm, I'm really excited to see it. I want to go back to this backstory. So you said you were working at an arcade when you saw this email. Is that the job that you were you were yeah, holding on? Yeah, it's called uh, it's called Big Play in Mississippi. So, okay. Uh, Bullets, Mississippi, and I worked there for like a year. Wow. Oh wow! So you were pretty far removed from high school yeah. when you saw that tryout. You had been a year since you had even yeah, been at yeah, the high yeah. school level. Yeah, and then uh, I went to a tryout. Then I played. I actually started my first year at EC, and I woke up. Uh, well, on June 20th, on my birthday, my, after my first year playing, I, that's when I got my first, I went to Louisiana Tech camp. That's when I got my first offer for my first year playing football at Louisiana Tech. Boy, you playing other sports at the high school level, or you just weren't really into the sports at that point in your life? Ninth, like ninth, ninth and 10th um, grade, I played basketball. In 8th uh, grade, I played baseball. But that's after like that 10th grade, I ain't played anything. Mm. Wow, incredible. An unlikely journey to the biggest little city. And I want to ask what it's been like for the Mississippi kid living out west. I'm sure you don't miss the humidity at all, but what has it been like uh, just being in our neck of the woods? Man, I, I really I really like it. Like, it's, it's different, but it, when I first came out here, it took time to get uh, used to the elevation in the air. So, like, it took me a minute to, like, get to get some wind under me, but I'm used to it now. So, I like I, mean, I like how the city just it got every every food restaurant you want. That's true. You can probably find some good Southern cooking out here somewhere as well, man. He is Michael Coach Jr. Yeah. Excited to see you work this year. Michael, anything you want to add before we let you go? Yeah. Uh, that's it. Cool, man. Great talking with you, and uh, we'll be covering you throughout the year. So excited for that. All right. Thank you.